hello everyone welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to show you how to deploy your next.js application to google cloud run so google cloud run is a platform that automatically scales your containerized applications what i mean by that is if you want to containerize your application with docker you can use google cloud run to basically deploy your application so it abstracts away the server management and it allows you to deploy web apps, APIs, and backend services without really worrying about the infrastructure. All right, so, I mean, Google Cloud Run is excellent choice when uh, you want to dis deploy your Next.js application. And that is basically because it supports server-side rendering or your API routes and then the static pages as well. And it is also mostly free uh, you only pay for what you use and that is thanks to the automatic scaling right and it also handles traffic spikes automatically for you so when there is a lot of traffic um, Google Cloud Run is going to handle that automatically for for you and there is also the advantage of seamless integration with other Google Cloud services like uh, Cloud SQL Firestore and, and other and other stuff right so you can easily deploy with Docker and uh, let me show you. So I'm going to use this application as an example. All right, so this is a Next.js application that I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to be creating a tutorial for this. Uh, I'm not yet done, but it will come soon. But this is my Next.js application. As you can see, it is running on localhost and I want to deploy it to Google Cloud Run. All right, so this is the application running. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that here inside nextconfig.ts, is to add uh, an output here Could spell so output All right and i'm going to do output standalone like this so this is the first thing you need to do you need to add output standalone here i'm going to save it and uh, the next thing is you have to add a docker file Alright, so here I am going to create a docker file and here I'm going to put the content that is supposed to go in here all right so I have added the content of the docker file and you can see it's not a lot it's just a few you can see this is the node version we are using all right and here we are setting the working directory we are copying some files the package files that we need and here we do npm install all right so we, we do basically npm ci to install the dependencies and uh, you can see that here we are copying the app files, right? So we, we do copy the app files from here and then we run npm build here. And you can see that we are setting things like uh, the environment to production and we are also copying some necessary files that we need. And here we expose port 8080 and uh, yeah, that should be it. So it's going to be running on this port basically. Right, so I'm going to provide the content of the docker file in case you want to use mine. So this is supposed to be the content of the docker file and that should basically be it. All right, so that's all you need to do. Yeah, I'm also going to add a docker ignore file. So here it's similar to get ignore. So nothing really scary going on here. We are just ignoring some files just like we do in, uh, in get ignore. All right, so yeah. But then the main file you would need is this docker file here right, so you need to add that what i'm going to do is i am going to deploy this to github so i am going to let me create a new terminal here and let me do cls let me do get add I'm going to add everything i, I just added and uh, let me just check if everything is okay get status all right so they are added actually there are some files that i don't want to include so i'm going to remove them i just want to add just the docker files here i don't want to commit to those files actually let me check the changes for these files i think i think it should be fine yeah these are small small changes okay yeah, so I'm gonna commit this. Uh, it should be fine. I can actually use this to generate an automatic message. So it generated a message for me, but um, I'm happy I can just commit to this, but uh, 
let me just say add docker file all right add docker file and docker ignore for yeah so this one is okay so i'm going to hit commit here yeah and then i'm going to sync the changes with the main branch so let me click on sync i'm going to open google console let's go here let's go to google console all right so i've opened google console you can see here that i have a new project here if you don't have a project you can click here to create a new project uh just go through and then add a project name and then create a new project but i already have a project and it's the same name as the project we have um in vs code all right so it's called vendora now um i've already created a project so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to choose cloud run from here here i want to connect a repo right so the first thing i'm going to do is to click on connect a repo now i have pushed my code to github it's it's on github so you have to push your code to github as well so once you have pushed your code you can click on connect a uh, repo so there are some other options right to use uh, maybe docker hub or yeah so a function but uh, this is easier to do and straightforward so so once you push your code to github then it's going to automatically deploy it for you that's what you want so i'm going to call this um the service name i'm just going to call it vendura i'll keep i'll keep everything same as the project name let me start with a lowercase because i started with an uppercase it was giving me a red flag but yeah start with a lowercase and you can see that here you have you have an endpoint url right so basically this is how the url of your app is going to look like but if you go down here you can leave everything else as same now for the billing section here leave it as a uh, request based and leave everything as uh, as it is now here if you have um, things like variables you can open this drop down and then come here and uh, you can set variables and secrets like this right so you can add a variable here uh, that's basically what i'm going to do so i have some variables that i have to add for my env so i'm going to copy them and paste them here basically now if you have a lot of variables um, what you can do is you can basically copy all the content of your variables and basically paste them like this as you can see so i copied all my variables and i have to paste them you can see i have super base url uh, anon key and recent api keys and all that right all right so you can see that here there is a red flag here which is saying set up with cloud billing you have to enable cloud billing even though uh, i mean from the beginning they are not going to charge you anything i've already set it up you're going to go here and you can see it's going to connect to your github repo already if you're not connected you're going to get a button here to connect and then you're going to allow some permissions to connect to your github i can basically select the repository that i want so i'm going to click on manage connected repositories right now all right so i'm going to connect my account and i'm going to click install to install the repositories that i want to be able to have access here so you just have to connect your repository and then uh, you can basically now select from the list if it is an organization repository you can select just that organization um yeah but in this case i am going to give it access to all my repositories so i'm going to yeah search for the one i need which is this one all right so you can see i understand i'm going to check this and i'm going to hit next so it's loading all right and yeah the next stage is uh the branch configuration all right so the branch is main and uh, here i'm going to use a docker file all right so we added a docker file so you have to click on the docker file build type and i am going to hit save i save it and here as you can see the cloud build trigger will be created once you create the service all right and here i'm also going to click allow unauthenticated invocations um yeah everything else is fine 
yeah everything else is fine so um yeah looks good to me so i'm gonna click on create and as you can see it has been created and uh yeah you can see the progress from here all right so creating service setting the i am policy creating the cloud build trigger and then it's going to build and deploy your project so i'll just wait a few seconds and see so as you can see right now it is at the building and deploying uh it's at the building and deploying step if you want to see the logs you can click here to see the logs so i'll click on see logs and here you can see the logs everything that is happening right all right so as you can see the build completed successfully and i am able to run the url you can see the url here and this is the application so um yeah that is how you deploy your next year's app to cloud run so you can basically share this url with anybody and they would be able to access your application it's very very easy and simple all right so thank you for watching this video and i'm going to see you in the next one